Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today we talk again about Intel 7th Gen CPUs and Windows 11. Well, Asus has released beta BIOSes for many of their motherboards, even the 200 series, like the 270, which can only take like 6th and 7th gen CPUs. You can't put an 8th gen CPU into that motherboard. So um, they have released these beta BIOSes so that everything is working that can be working and ready for Windows 11, so to speak. So turning on the trusted platform module Okay, turning that on. So you don't have to have the actual chip. You can just have the socket. And I talked about that in a, a, a pre previous video. And what I'll do is I'll run through the compatibility tool again and um, just show you what my system is saying. So everything is okay. And it's just the CPU is not approved. Um, I'm a bit worried about messing with my secure boot. I'm a bit worried about putting in the new BIOS that I might mess that up or do something. Um, so I'm just avoiding it for now. There's no urgency to do it because we're not looking at a release of Windows 11 until maybe October 25th or after. So don't panic. All right. Now I think that is, this is such an issue because when Windows 10 was released, wow, everybody can have it. Just about. You have to have a dinosaur computer for it not to work on it, pretty much. You know, so um, it's it's gone pretty well. If um, you've got a CPU that you really like and uh, a graphics card, and you're gaming, and you're Hey, Windows 11, so what? Uh, just continue, enjoy yourself. You got four or five years before Windows 10 is finished. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of time to enjoy your computer. Okay. But it is fun to see the new operating system and have a play with it. So I understand the desire to do so. Um, so that's the difference. So this time more people are going to lose out on being able to, to uh, use the new operating system because of all these security features that uh, um, Microsoft wants um, working on your computer in order to run Windows 11 to make things more secure. Now um, I've heard just rumors on the internet, as you know, grain of salt and all that, that if someone were to, to try and hack the TPM, the Trusted Platform Module, that it would take them about 30 minutes to do it. Well, that's actually a long time, uh, 30 minutes uh, for one, yeah. So anyways, um, with all the extra security features over time, I hope we're on the right path to have everything nice and sweet. So, um, I am also going to um, do a few additional things in my videos in the future. I just want to have plenty of topics and subjects and things that I can make videos about. Because it gets a bit boring if I'm just sitting here talking about graphics cards every single video. That is a boring. So, um, I'm going to start um, giving some tips on being able to watch some free movies illegally. Okay, I'll probably talk about games. Well, why not? We're PC Gaming Tech Summary, so I might as well talk about some games. Um, and uh, 
Uh, very shortly, I'll be um, looking at the website and, you know, working on that, revamping it. I basically just have my website there so that um, you can access uh, affiliate links easily. So if I'm talking about a product or whatever, then I try and have a, uh, an Amazon link for the most part um, so that it's easy for you to have a look at. Even if you buy uh, something else, um, as long as you click the link on the website or on YouTube, then that should give me credit um, for, for the sale. Um, and um, I don't have quite enough sales here to um, carry on, so um, there may be a little bit of a lull um, because I have to reapply and do it and possibly have to regenerate all those links anyway, so there'd be a big sweep of the website getting rid of all that um, and sort of starting over from scratch. Um, and if I have to do that, I'm going to look at other affiliate programs as well uh, and uh, just, just weigh it all up and see where I'm going to go from there. But on the website, um, I, I try and put up um, links for my videos as well. So that's another place that you can go um, and click and it takes you into YouTube. The video into YouTube opens up a new window. And um, um, also, uh, you know, as the channel grows, we might have a store with merchandise, do the Patreon thing, whatever. But um, I don't want to quite get into that now because um, we're quite uh, small um, and I'm having to do everything. So um, um, that's all right. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Um, this is a lot of fun. And um, I hope over time we can grow and do all kinds of things, um, diversify, and um, have more presenters in the future as well. Uh, to make things a bit brighter and sunnier. So, um, yeah, we'll stick around. Well, I think it's time we get into it. First thing is to find out the current status of our system. So we're going to use a compatibility tool um, called Why Not Win 11 from GitHub. Um, GitHub is the place where Microsoft um, have their um, open source uh, projects. Um, so it is... Uh, not a fly-by-night operation. So, um, we want the most recent, latest stable release. Um, you do this at your own risk. Anything you do or don't do is at your own risk. Um, so, I am going to save that. And then, there's a bit of a warning here. I'm going ahead with it at my own risk and opening it. And it runs the tool and all these green boxes is good. It's currently checking direct X on my video card and that is a green. Okay, um, at the bottom it's got your Intel CPU model and your graphics card. I'm using Why Not Win 11 version 2.3.2.0. And um, everything's looking good except for the CPU compatibility, which is a 7th gen Intel and has not been approved yet, but we do expect that to be approved by Windows release um, sometime around October 25. My secure boot is supported. So because it has this green here, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And um, my TPM um, is detected, TPN2, which I enabled in my BIOS, okay? Um, and the, there is instructions coming up for ASUS motherboards and other motherboards, uh, MSI, etc., cetera, um, which I will put all those links in the description below. Um, there's a Microsoft document on s enabling secure boot. And um, if we um, have a look at this, it says to um, 
go over and read another page, which is here, instructions to re-enable secure boot section in this article, blue letters. And it has disabling secure boot as well as enabling down below. Um, and it's talking about uninstalling graphics cards, hardware, or operating systems that aren't compatible with secure boot. Getting very technical. I don't want to do it. So it looks a bit complicated and um, risky um, to mess with the secure boot um, at this stage. Do you need to find your motherboard model number? Well, I find the easiest way to, is to either use CPU Z um, or crucial.com. So CPUID.com, links in the description below. Um, this is the website, and so I'm going to click Windows CPU Z. Okay, I want the most stable recent version. Let's click Setup in English and download. And I'm going to save it. Open. Click yes, I'm clicking yes. I accept the agreement. Um, desktop icons, fine. And I'm going to install, automatically close the app. And I have the app open, so it's gonna close that down for me while it installs over the top of it. Okay, uh, I don't need to read me, and finish. Okay, so I think that's just gonna launch. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go over and start it, so I just go to CPU, okay, CPU Z, yes. Okay, so this is just the CPU model, Intel Core i7-7700, and then we'll go over to the main board, Asus, Asus Tech is ASUS, um, and it's a Prime H270 Pro is the board I have. So that tells you your board. Um, if you wanted to use crucial.com, just um, go there, and then I'm going to click Start Your Scan. Click I Agree to the Terms and Conditions, and I'm going to start the scan. So obviously, um, they're marketing their products. Um, and I'm going to click open, yes, and so it runs a little scan, and right there, ASUS Prime H270 Pro gives you the motherboard right there. Okay, now down below, there's going to be the model numbers for the RAM, okay, but I'm not showing you that today. So if you needed to order RAM or something or see the, see the product numbers, So we want to go to asus.com for an example. And we're gonna search for my motherboard, which is the H270 Pro. We're gonna select that. And we want support. And from there, we're going to go to BIOS and firmware. And as you see, it is a beta version and it has the date of 2018. So um, either they didn't update the date or it's just the exact same BIOS and they've just made it so the default is TPM enabled and uh, secure boot enabled. That's what I'm assuming. Um, 
So, if you need to get instructions on how to um, install a BIOS, I'll show you where you can find that. Come up to Manual and Document. And these are the different languages for the BIOS update manual, e-manual. Okay, so for English, it's here, and I'm just going to click download. Okay, and then here it is. And it tells you what to do from there. So I would advise skimming through that uh, before you do anything um, and understanding um, the steps, I, I suppose. And you do it at your own risk if you're going to update the BIOS. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. Don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.